What up, people? It is week 23. Welcome back. And we have to actually start this week with a Mia Culpa from last week. Because uh, when I got surprised by the uh, uh, copyright issue that I had with my video, I had to very quickly re edit it and get it uploaded. Uh, and what ended up happening was uh, after I cut out the offending clip, um, I forgot to update my individual screen titles. Uh, and so they were like way off. You probably noticed that I was talking about squatting and it was saying that I was benching and things like that. So uh, my bad on the production error. <laughs> but on the plus side, that did get me thinking about those titles. And since I moved the cage, uh, the background is now quite a bit brighter. So uh, it made sense to actually move the titles to somewhere darker on the screen and make them a different color. So anyway, that's that. So what's going on this week? Well, uh, normally i uh, be going back to mega volume and I am doing more volume than I did last week. However, I am super pressed for time this week because uh, this is the second week of the year where I travel. So um, I had to get my butt into work uh, early. So that means leaving the house by 9 a.m. when uh, normally I'm just reaching my, uh, the start of like my overhead work normally around that time. So things had to be compressed down. So what I ended up doing was, uh, since I'm doing less volume, uh, raise the weights. You know, we learned from Dorian Yates back in the 90s that uh, you can do good things uh, with low volume, but uh, if you do go the low volume route, you do have to crank up the intensity. And not only uh, was I pressed for time, uh, but I also noticed, uh, because I've been keeping a uh, running tracker of how much volume I need to average uh, each week for the remainder of the year to reach my 7 million pound goal for the year. Uh, and with the uh, mega volume weeks that I've been putting in, uh, that has been moving down and is actually in the 135,000 pound range. Uh, so what I actually may end up doing for uh, the foreseeable future is uh, taking Fridays uh, off from lifting and actually uh, doing a, a running workout because uh, I do have my usual 5K uh, that I do in September. And what I've learned is that, yeah, you really do have to train running <laughs> because you can't just kind of show up and be like, well, I was doing cardio on the bike and in the house and that should be good. Uh, no, it doesn't work like that. Uh, you do need to train uh, running if you want to run well. And especially now because uh, I am much heavier than I used to be and even though a lot of that is quality body weight as I've been uh, wanting to build. Uh, when it comes to running, that's just dead weight. It doesn't matter if it's fat, doesn't matter if it's muscle. Uh, if it has nothing to do with running, like, you know, pecs, for example, uh, <laughs> it's just dead weight. And of note this week as well, the house has made its full transition from Arctic to tropical. Uh, I think we had a brief preview of summer a couple weeks back. However, it is here in full force. And let me tell you, it is hot and humid in this piece. So drinking tons of water, which is notably skewing my uh, scale weigh-ins because I weigh in after the workouts. And oh, by the way, it's hump day. Oh, yeah. These are uh, the last clips of the week because uh, I'm going to be in a commercial gym starting on Thursday. So anyway, low bar squat, 330. Uh, I like that this is pretty easy these days. It wasn't that long ago that that was like an all-out max. So <laughs> good stuff like that. And 240 on the bench, also fairly easy down and right up. And here's a projection for Thursday. Uh, should get it done. Don't see any problem with that. And the week 23 volume update. Not comparing it to anything because it's a lot less than what I had been doing. But it's still more than I actually need to achieve to uh, hit my target for the year. So that is good. And 2017 goals update screen. Yeah, again, slight projection here on the chin-ups and the poundage total. But uh, like I said, don't see any problem getting that done. And last but not least, the diet data screen, as mentioned before, the uh, scale weight is skewed up a little bit, but no problem with that. I expect that to come down once the water issues get sorted out. Anyway, uh, like I said before, no video next week, so I'll catch you in a couple. All right, peeps. Take care. Bye.